We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. A few drinks, a few laughs, and a contest. What could be better? <laughs> well, come back when you do, my friend. Come back when you do. <coughs> Maybe you just are... Ha! We'll see about that. This is a special brew. Very strong stuff. Let's get started. I'll start round one. Down the hatch. Your turn. One down, my friend. One down. And another one for me. And how about you? So says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Tell you what, one more and you win the contest. Wow, you've really done it. The staff is yours. You know, you're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. Hey, you don't look so good. Wake up. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. Yes, your head hurts and you don't remember where you are. I'm guessing you also don't remember coming in here and blathering incoherently about marriage or a goat. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the temple. Debella teaches love and compassion. But that doesn't mean we're just going to tell you what you want to know and let you walk away from this. Pick up your mess, then apologize. And if we think you're sincere, we'll consider lending you aid. I suppose that'll do. Debella teaches us forgiveness after all. Even for a drunk like you. You were ranting when you got here, but most of it was slurred. You did say something about Rorikstead. Maybe you should take a look there. I'm sorry. The Temple of Debella is closed. You can receive your blessing if you wish, but the other sisters are in seclusion.
ancient legends. Dragonborn. In all my years, I've never seen such a thing. It can't be. You. You took its very soul. You! You've got a lot of nerve showing yourself in this town again. What do you have to say for yourself? Sorry's not good enough. Not while my Gled is still out there alone and afraid. You kidnapped her and sold her to that giant. You're damn right it does. I'll never breed another prize-winning goat like Gleda. And don't you think of coming back to Rorikstead until you get her back from that giant. You really don't remember stealing a goat and selling her to a giant? Are you thick? Go get her! At least she's bound to follow you back. You smell just like the fermented feet she likes. You mentioned something like that, when you were running off with my goat. Tell you what, you bring back my goat, and maybe I'll give a damn about your staff. Until next time. Name's Ennis. If you've got friends who do business in White Rock, they might know me.
You talked to Raldith yet? She's like a mother to me. Gladder! I'm not a scratch on her. Happy day! I still can't figure out why you stole her. You left a note explaining it, but half of it was gibberish and the rest had mead spilled on it. Only bit I could make out was repaying Isolde in Whiterun, and even that's mostly scribbles. Guess you could try there. Good day. What do you need? Shiny trinkets for your good lady. So, you're finally back. Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. It's not about the money, really. I wouldn't have given you the wedding ring on credit if you weren't so obviously in love. But if there isn't going to be a wedding, the least you can do is give the ring back. That was one of my best pieces. You went right out to give it to your fiancé. Don't you even remember where you left her? And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmist Grove, I can see why she left you. I'm sure your bride-to-be will tell you when and where the ceremony will be. If she still wants to marry you when you tell her you can't afford the ring. Before my ma and da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? How could you forget? It was the sweetest story I'd ever heard. You met at the full moon, under the biggest tree in the Witchmist Grove, surrounded by fireflies. It was straight out of a storybook. Yeah. These Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Reputation mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. About the same as everyone else? They're the catfolk of elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. The way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Farewell. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself.
been waiting for you to return to consummate our love. What? You want it for that hussy Esmeralda with the dark feathers, don't you? I won't let her have you. Yes. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going... Excellent. Sorry it didn't work out. I know how excited you were for the wedding. You kept saying it would be a huge ceremony at Morvenskar. You said you even had some magic staff that would handle all of the guests. Farewell.
making me do this for a laugh. You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. I thought you might not remember your first trip here. You had a big night. I think you've definitely earned the staff. Oh, the Hagraven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see, I really just needed something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. I don't owe you money, do I? I am Sanguine, Daedric Prince of Debauchery. I know, I know. How could I lie to you? Well, how could I trust you until we've shared a few drinks? But it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not-quite-holy staff than this waste of flesh.
Let's be honest here. I don't always think my decisions through. But you, you're going places. Maybe a little influence from your old Uncle Sanguine could help adjust your course a bit. My pleasure. But I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. Damn those Greymanes to oblivion. They want to back the Stormcloaks, they'll get what's coming to them.